Let me start off by saying the mount on these is stupid big. That's the distance from the edge of the rail to the edge of the site. A little over three eighths of an inch. I've had the chance to use these before on a friend's gun and they worked really well. It has two apertures. It can only fold with the larger one open. And while I haven't measured these, I guess I can. I don't want to make this video too long. They're said to be the same as an A2 handle. So, again, about 195 and about 75. They lock in the upward position, the way that works. And it'll just ride. I guess it's like a little bit of a detent, this not this groove here. Come on, focus. Kind of drops in this groove when they lock in here. This is serrated, but you kind of need a tool to turn this. Same thing here. Avoid the HK style, as they call it, because you have now concentric rings front and back that you want to center. And I catch myself doing that rather than centering the post. So I think those are trash. I've used both. and. Couldn't use the HK style effectively. Normal size post. Enormous base. It's almost out to the edge of the rail. <clears throat> I got these at Primary Arms and an incredible deal. They were 145 minus 12%, whatever that comes out to be. So here are my complaints. I had to drift this to co-witness with a dot, even though the handguard is clocked to the right a little bit, kind of just fit between the tabs and the upper, so I left it. And handguard is kind of uneven all over the place, but the inside edge to the barrel, I mean, mind you, I'm not measuring from the rail, but still, it's about even within like 10 thousandths. I think maybe even less. So I had to drift it to the left visibly, and I'm thinking that could have to do with the with the sights, with the mounting of the sights, the way they're mounted. I mean, it's not dissimilar from most clamp style. If you have a wider rail, sight ends up that way. If you have a narrow one, ends up biased that way. So it only centers on like a perfect rail, and obviously the rail up front and, and the rear are different. They came out of the package with some kind of white powder. Took me a few minutes to clean it off with a Q-tip. And then I got to the buttons. I don't know what any of that's about. There was no wear on the screws. So I guess that's just how they come. Chewed up. Both of them, both of them had the powder. Both of them had the marks. I don't even know how that would have happened. And I didn't notice this on my friend's rifle, although I wasn't looking that carefully. But you see how that's kind of knurled. I think it's for the press fit, right? So you jam it in that hole and it never comes back out. You got quite a bit of that showing. It's whatever. Just wanted you guys to see it. Come kind of up close and personal look. 
I don't know. I don't know that I'm really into them. I've always known and seen in pictures that this mount is enormous and biased way to one side. I mean, it's about even with the end of the button, but still. It's one thing to see it and even handle it, but to put it on your own personal gun, it's way the hell out there. I don't think there's another sight like this other than maybe the carry handle with the huge knobs. 